like a... Your hair looks extra poofy. <laughs> it looks like it could be fake. Like I went out and I got a perm or something. Or like a hat. <laughs> That's it. Hi, I'm Tony. Um, welcome to BFCS. We are going to be making something from my childhood that most of you probably don't really know unless you're from the east coast um it's called tomato pie tomato pie is pizza without the sauce or without the cheese um except the sauce is a little bit tangier and sweeter and a little spicy and then um the crust is closer to a focaccia um for our ingredients we have sugar we have tomato paste we have crushed tomatoes uh, garlic powder, oregano, uh, red pepper. Now for our dough, we have 500 grams of flour. We're gonna use 10 grams of salt. We're gonna use 30 grams of Evu, extra virgin olive oil, and five grams of yeast. Uh, I'm gonna use just the dried yeast that you can find at the supermarket, hopefully. It's been kind of hard. Um, but we're going to start with the sauce. So what we're doing is adding the 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes with the, let's see, it is a six ounce can of tomato paste. We're going to mix those together. The rest of the spices. We're not going to cook this, it's a raw sauce. We're just going to let it sit overnight in the fridge with the dough. Yes, this recipe will take two days. Just start the dough and the sauce, get it knocked out the first day, and then come back and do the other stuff the next day. Bake. All you need to do is start in the oven, really. So we got the crushed tomatoes and tomato paste. Now we're going to be adding two teaspoons of garlic powder. If you don't like garlic that much, you can cut this down a little bit. If you want to use fresh, I'd say about four cloves would be the equivalent. So two teaspoons. And then we got a tablespoon of oregano. Mine's whole leaf oregano, so I'm gonna take it and crush it just a little bit. So you're not getting big chunks, big leaves. But uh, most of the time your oregano will be crushed in it anyways already. This is all stuff you can really find in your pantry. And then we're gonna take three tablespoons of sugar. If you want something a little less sweet, I'd say you just cut it down to two. Don't go down to one, it might not be as good. Two. And there's a third. And then we are going to take a it's going to be a half a teaspoon, actually a fourth of a teaspoon of our fresh red pepper. And then we're going to salt the taste. So I'd start about a teaspoon, maybe two. Mix, give it a taste. It will actually almost taste like pizza Lunchable sauce. That's what I thought it tasted close to. But you just wanna make sure you salt enough so that it's not bland when you finish. So that's your sauce, ready to go. Um, just take this, put, throw it in a container. You can even make it the next day if you don't feel like making more dishes. It's up to you. But now we're gonna start our dough. So I have here weighed out 500 grams of all-purpose flour. And then we are gonna grab 325 grams of water. And throw it in here.
325 on the water. 30 grams of our extra virgin olive oil. Ten grams of salt, there, and then five grams. It's always better to weigh stuff out when you're doing bread or any kind of baked good. It'll just come out more consistent. And you won't have to worry about anything going wrong. So take all of this, make sure you give it a mix. Get the salt from the bottom. Take all that and dump it in. Take the back of this wooden spoon and stir it up. Now we're going to knead this dough. I'm not going to show you how to knead it because um, it'll take me 10 minutes. But just knead the dough until it's smooth and elastic. We'll be back. Go ahead. All right. Um, been about 10 minutes. That's a lie I made a drink to. <laughs> so we got that. Dough is looking pretty good. What we're gonna do is do an overnight ferment in the refrigerator. So take it and throw it in a bowl. Kind of ball it up, get it like that, and then you're gonna cover it. And then um we're gonna let it sit. Hold on, stop. I don't, I can't fucking remember. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna leave it in the fridge for eight to um, like 24 hours. Eight to 24 hours. And then tomorrow, when this is ready to go, we're gonna put it into a really well oiled pan, about three tablespoons of oil. Um, first, we're gonna punch the dough down. I'll just show you tomorrow. What the hell am I talking about? We're back for day two of the tomato pie. <laughs> um, so right here I have a, what is this? This is a Wilton 17.2 by 11.5 inch tray. All you really need is something, a larger uh, baking tray that has edges on it. So you can form a crust. But we're gonna take three tablespoons of olive oil, spread it out, give that a little rub everywhere. Make sure you get it evenly distributed and a little bit around the edges as well. And then now we're gonna take a little bit of flour, sprinkle our working surface. Good. Take our dough that has been proofing overnight and grab Grab that out and put it, turn it onto the floured surface. We're gonna pat it down and get it kind of in a circle, but make sure we get it a little bit like an oval so when we put it on the sheet and we let it rise it's closer to the shape that we want so that's our dough Something like that it's fine it's perfect 
Now we're gonna throw it onto our sheet pan and we are gonna let this rise for an hour. We're gonna cover it with ceramic first. See you in an hour. So it has been proofing for an hour, covered in um, plastic wrap. Uh, now what we're gonna do is form the dough. So when we go to bake it, it's ready to go. Um, what you're trying to not do is touch the edges. You want the crust to be nice and fluffy on the edges. So you wanna take it and spread it without running too close to the edge. Like that. It's gonna keep coming back, it's fine. Just try and stretch it. Get it as close as you can. Just be mindful of the edges. Um, we're gonna preheat our oven now too. We're gonna throw it on 425. But we're gonna let this sit for another hour. Um, I like to turn the oven on now just so it has time to preheat so everything's nice and hot so when you open it up it doesn't lose as much temperature but we're going to cover that up and then what I do make sure you don't have anything too crazy big as far as air bubbles go because that'll be the first thing to burn when you do toss it in there but we're going to let this proof for another hour so I'd like to take it cover it and then throw it on top of the oven where it's gonna be warm. And we're gonna let it sit there for another hour. Okay. So we let our dough rise. As you can see, <laughs> it looked good. <laughs> but we're gonna sauce it. So the same way that we handled it before, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna get as close to the edge as we can without actually pressing down on it. So take all of this. This is not like pizza. You want that everywhere. But you wanna keep it off the crust. And you wanna make sure it's an even layer. It's not thick somewhere and thin somewhere else. And then what we're gonna do is toss it in the oven for 10 minutes, um, rotate it, put it in for another 10, and then it should be about ready. We're gonna go until golden brown. And then we're gonna pull it out, top of a Parmesan, if you want you can throw some basil on there but I don't have any so just Parmesan for me then we're done all right into the 425 oven for 10 minutes rotate another 10 minutes then we're gonna check see if it's golden brown and then uh, once it's done we'll pull it out top it All right, she looks good to go. Pull it out. Oh yeah. All right, you got brown <clears throat> golden crust ready to go. We're just gonna hit it with some Parmesan on top. Not some, actually a lot. <laughs> We're gonna hit it with the Parm. And then we're gonna let it cool. I like this stuff cold or at room temp. But you can throw it back in the oven and heat it up and get crispy for you. It's up to you. Thanks for watching.